Yeah, hello, welcome and thank you very much for signing up for Loomsuit. So the first thing you will need to do is to add your server. The server at which you are going to be using to send email in uh, Loomsuit. Let me bring this one down here. So the we you can have uh, different kind of servers uh, which are provided by different websites. One of them is SendGrip. You can have SendGrip. You can have uh, Amazon uh, SES. You can add uh, Macon and and the rest. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you will be able to connect SendGrip to Loomsuit. The first thing you need to do is to go to this web URL, sendgrip.com. When you get to the URL, you click on this start for free. You are going to be given 300 email to be sent for free every day. You can see this one uh, automatically put in my email and my password. But in your own case, your email and password will not be here. You need to put in your email and password. Then you need to click on create account. You click on this robot and uh, create account. Then after that, you are going to be given some few forms to, to fill, which you will need to fill. You put in your um, how you are going to be collecting your email, how you are getting your email and the rest. And in few hours, your account should be set up. So after setting up your account, let me go back because I will need to sign in. After setting up your account, then you will come back and sign in with the details at which you have used to open your account. Then after then, you will be come into the dashboard like this. So if after everything you've done, you want to start sending more than 300 emails in a day, so you, you will click here and do that. But first thing you need to do is to connect your domain. You need to connect your domain. My domain is loomsuit.com i have another domain to be send action dot dot uh, dot pro so domain means your website url so you need to connect your domain so that when you are sending email you are going to be sending from your e uh, your the email of your website so what you need to do now is come down here and click at so come down here and click um, settings yeah you need to click settings here then come to sender authentication authentication rather sender authentication then after clicking on sender authentication then you you click on authenticate your domain you can see here I've been able to authenticate one of my domain which is sendaction.pro I will advise you you buy another domain from your main domain. You can get domain as cheap as um, three dollars or four dollars from uh, from Namecheap. I'm using Namecheap. This I registered this domain from Namecheap. The the website is sendaction.com, but I decided to register this sendaction.pro and now redirect this sendaction.pro to sendaction.com. Permanent redirect. So anybody, anybody that type this sendaction.pro and click enter, the person will be taken to my website which is sendaction.com. So I will advise you do the same thing. So don't use your main domain to be sending email. So when you get to this place, then you will click authenticate your domain. Then you will click your, you click here, you take your, uh, you select your host, the DNS host. For me, my host is named Cheap, so you, you should be able to get yours there too. And if it is not there, you click this other hosting. Then you you can leave this as no. Then you click next. Then you put your domain here. The domain I'm gonna be using now is loomsuit.com. Then I will click next. Then you are going to be given this. You will, be, you, you will come to this page. So these are records you will need to go and put in your email. Sorry. These are records. Sorry. These are records you need to go and put in your domain. So what you are going to do is you are going to go and create 
text record in your domain what you need to do at this moment is just go to let me go to nameship let me go to nameship.com that is where i register that domain let me sign in my nameship account this thing is very simple and straightforward you will not miss it so first of all the that domain is registered with nameship and i've been able to create email with that domain in nameship i think you should be able to know that so i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do another video at which i will teach you how to create a domain with nameship if you have a uh, a website with them if you are hosting your website with them you can create email with your website domain so let this come up let's wait for this to come up what's happening it's taking much time what's happening to the server of a name uh, name team? can see this is that my domain and I've been able to create email with that domain so you can create any email with the domain so I just come here to show you this so what you need to do now is to create all this record in all this record are going to be created in your domain so what you need to do now is to go to your domain go and talk to the customer care chat with the customer care if you are using any of the domain provider you are using just go and chat with the customer care if they don't have chats you can send them that you want to create a, a record in your domain dns record they call it dns record in the dns section so this is what you are going to create let me see if i can show you the one i uh, that has been created with this domain let me sign into my to my c panel so let me go to my C panel and see if I can see where I can show you. Just come down. This should be. You click on this zone editor. Then these are the records. Let me look for. This is the. URL so I'll click manage then let me go down and see you can see these are the records being created here one two three these three records these are the records being created here so you will do the same thing after creating this record then you'll be able to verify your email with uh, uh, sentry because they need to verify your email so it's going to take about two or three hours for them to verify your email you can see the records here. there are three let me show you again this is one two three this one is sendgib.net whatever so these are the kind of record you are going to create these are c name record let, let me even see let me even show you if we can do so okay c name you just click this c name you click create record you put uh, the valid name here. Let me see. You can see. You can see the valid name here. This is one, two, and three. So these are the hosts. The valid name are the hosts. You put this one, and you put this as the value. You put this one as the name. You can see it, and you put this as the record this will be the record this will be the, this value will be the record then you save where you put the two you, you click add record where you put the two you click add record then you add another one again this name valid zone name is going to be the second one is going to be this which you are going to put here then again you copy this if you just click here you copy you copy this then you put it here again you create another okay you change this to c name please change this to c name then you put it here 
because you can see their scene name then when you create after creating the three then you will come back and click verify here you have added those this record then you come back and click verify so you come back and click but you need to give it like two hours before you can verify so let me show you my own uh, domain which i've been able to verify let's go back let me go back to settings and domain authentication you can see this is the one pending this is the one we're trying to do now this is the one i've been able to verify the verification pro where you are where after adding all this record the verification is going to take about uh, two hours so it's going to take about two hours after that you will come down here you click verification you will verify it from here and it will be verified then you'll be able to use this domain to send uh, you'll be able to use this domain to send email with uh, suit. then again we are going to in the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, add your SMTP settings your your send grip SMTP settings into Loomsuit then you'll be able to send email with it thank you I will see you in another video